Oi. Went out driving around and I'm in the Jasper Mount Judy area and I thought I'd stop being here at Sam's Throne and uh, you stop in, you know. It's, uh, it's gonna rain soon, I do believe. But uh like you got a good trail on about maybe about a quarter of a mile from the parking area down to the bluff area itself. And there are some, uh, some primitive campsites here. This is a uh, it's a rock climbing area. And there's a view of the Big Valley, the Big Creek Valley. If you note that large white structure off in the distance, that is the Pork Loaf Hog Farm. Widely known in the news for the last few years due to its raw pork sewage it spews into the Big Creek. Pretty damn good views up here, man. If you like looking at hog farms. And who doesn't? And this is the main bluff area. It's quite expansive. It's not expensive, but it is expansive. I mean, just look at that expanse. In all directions as far as your eyes can see. If your eyes can see. And over there is Sam's throne itself. It's that little island out in the middle of the valley. Known for some insane guy named Sam that used to stand out there on the bluff and spout insanity. <coughs> Starting to drizzle just a little bit.
rain starting to pick up just a little. I'll head back. Please be aware that the, the climb out of this uh, this area is treacherous, and uh, yeah, it's deadly dangerous. So if you come here, I cannot be responsible for your death. So come here at your own risk, man. Just so as you know. I mean, look at these rocks, man. You can. He trip right over one of them. He could fall, hit your head right on one of those. So I advise you wear a helmet. So many ways you can die here. You're coming down, you trip over a rock. You go headlong over the bluff, man. And uh, you know what? When you do that, you will surely be dead. Ain't no doubt in my mind that you'd be dead. Well, you might not be dead, but. Probably wished he was dead. Yeah, you'd be pretty messed up. By the way, this is it's Thursday morning, July 27th, and it's almost 11 o'clock. Seven. It's one of the stop-off points on uh, the Ozark Islands trip. And this is one of the many amenities that you will find here, should you require one of these amenities. You can also camp here. Now, should you stop here and require water, this uh, this fountain works. It may not work in the winter. Probably not. Well, also got this this pump. Yep, yep, it works. Of course, it may not work in the winter either. But this is what we would call your hydration station. Should you require it. Welcome to Fairview Campground in the Ozark National Forest, which is brought to you by the U.S. Uh, uh, something. It says here that you are welcome, and uh, it says that you are here, and there's a place of notice here that says, uh, due to lack of the uses, increases of maintenance, Fairview Campground will be closed. Picnic tables, firings, landings, and trailhead will remain limited to money needs. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to buy out the luck. I, I just ain't right. Also, if you get lost, you're also out of luck, because there ain't nobody gonna help you, so don't even try. If you encounter bears, you. Yeah, I'll tell you the luck too, cause you're gonna be dead. Don't even mess with it. Oh, that's right. So you see that picnic table right there? Next time you come by here, it's gonna be gone. Decommissioned. See a stump? I ain't gonna be here. See that closed line? Gone! That water over there I was just talking about, probably gonna be gone too. Poison ivy? Oh, it'll still be here. Bathroom? Yeah, I just utilized that bathroom and it'll be gone.
Picnic table over there? Gone, man. Sign over there with nothing on it? Gone. I'll do it for a 40. <laughs>